Hi guys, first off, uh, condolences to any local game stores, but this is the best sale of the year in my opinion. You can go to any Target and get magic cards for a dollar a pack slash fat packs for under eight dollars. And what you would need to do is you would have to price match and people have tried it. You might have to get a manager. Uh, you might have to complain and whine a little bit, but they should be. Target should price match because an interesting development, GameStop's sale, which they have fat packs for $8 or bundles for $8, booster packs for $1, uh, $5 for dual decks, that sale is still going on, but one of the big problems is people have already purchased as much as they can and there's not very much left. Well, Target will price match it and you can show them pretty much this video should be enough proof. Because as long as GameStop is not selling product that is co called clearance and a website doesn't say it's clearance so you can just show them the website, Target will match. That is their official policy. So again, you might have to talk to a manager, you might have to uh, make a scene about it, but you should be able to buy out every single Target using this policy for pennies on a dollar. If a booster pack is, let's say, $4.29, and 29 $4.39, I don't know what the MSRP is because no one pays MSRP anymore, then a $0.99 cent booster pack is a 75% off, maybe 80% off deal on a booster pack. Well, a bundle is even better because the bundle started off at $46 and now it's at $8. Dual decks start at, out off at 20 and now they're at five. And your target will have just a plenty of these. Like the bundle kit is eight bucks. The dual deck is five bucks. Some of it is not on sale. It kind of depends on what product your target has and you can match it up with a GameStop. But the prices on this stuff are just so low, so inexpensive that you should at least try it. Because if one target says yes, guess what? You clear out their inventory for pennies. I heard that, I mean, they even have a box on here for $30. I mean, they literally have a box here. So if you were able to find a Target or Walmart that sold a booster box, you would be good to go. I mean, or you would find maybe another local game store. So all my cat bundles are $15. Origins packs or a dollar if they have them. Let's see, Duel of the Planeswalkers. Uh, oh, it's a game. <laughs> it's a Magic Adam game. All right, the booster box is $24.99 for an Eldritch Moon booster box. Imagine going to a uh, GameStop and buying an Eldritch Moon booster box for $24.99. How sick is that? You got A for Revolt bundle for $8.49. Like I said, the end is near for local game stores. How are they going to compete against GameStop? How would they compete against Target? Oh, one of my favorite bundles, which I am accumulating many of, is the Over the Gate Watch Fat Pack. I guess call it, they still call it Fat Pack. And that one's only $14.99 here. I mean, it's dirt cheap. You have another Fat Pack. Eldric Moon Fat Pack at 18 isn't as good as... Oath of the Gatewatch is a really good set. And I think as a fat pack, the fact that you get the Wastelands and get the full art lands in a big bundle, that's very attractive. You can get the Kaladesh decks for $4, the Introduction Planeswalker decks. I mean, this is the best sale I've ever seen in Magic. I, I don't know why people are... I mean, you can have packs for less than a dollar, intro decks for less than $3, uh, it's just astounding uh, what everything costs. I will say this. I still expect a better deal sometime around Christmas. This is an epic 80% off deal. But I'm going to bet that around Christmas time, somebody at Walmart or Target, maybe even Walgreens, instead of having a buy one, get one 50% off deal, or a they're just going to have a straight up 75% off everything you can carry. So there's no like price matching. It'll be like the same deal here, which they're already making. It'll be the same deal, but it won't be as roundabout and you don't need to talk to a manager because if people like, I mean, here's you have a Caldas bundle for $10. This is the best deals I've ever seen, uh, bar none. 
Maybe you can price match with Walmart, but from what I heard is Target will definitely take it as long as you talk to a manager or someone who has power to do it. And at the end of the day, it's worth doing if you want to spend a couple hundred dollars. I mean, let's say you buy a hundred packs for a dollar piece. That's pretty good. That's $36 at Booster Box. Your local game store has no chance to fight that price point. Let's say you buy a bunch of bundles for $8 a bundle. Well, that's less than a dollar pack which makes it less than $36 a booster box. Still very good. Um, uh, Maquette is $149. I mean, these sets, a lot of the time, are in standard. You could get a booster box of, oh, what, a booster fat pack. Okay, that's kind of an interesting way to say it. Uh, toolkit for $449. You can get, if you're lucky, you can get this Brea deck. <laughs> wow, $16.49. That's the lowest I've ever seen a Brea deck for. Normally, they're selling on Craigslist for like $60, $80, $80, something like that. Something ridiculous over MSRP. Oh, you can also get uh, logo socks, which are more expensive than a fat bag. Great. Dragons of Tarkir, if they still have them, it's a buck. I mean, people say, oh, GameStop doesn't really care. They're just trying to care, uh, clear inventory. I saw a comment about that. But then why wouldn't they just keep the standard stuff? Why would they need to put clearance on all magic stuff, include mostly in standard? You know, question, I don't know. I think they value their space. Space is incredibly valuable. Rent has increased a ton, at least in Houston, because of Hurricane Harvey. But we will see. I mean, space is very important. Later, when you grow up and you get older and older, uh, space is uh, such a premium right now. Anyway, that's it. Good luck shopping. Bye, guys.